as we were saying, <laughs> this thing was just getting off the ground. We had two fascicles out, 4 1 and 2 1. Uh, sorry, not for, oh, sorry about that. 4 1. And then we got the first part of, of uh, volume 6, 6 1, Ramesses the fourth. Then I got the first big one out, Ramesses the second. We just about reached this point when Fairman had a letter from Professor Helk in Hamburg. Achtung, dear Professor Fairman, we understand you have the Amara West Ramesside inscriptions, which are not yet published. Uh, could we possibly have your permission to use these inscriptions as we plan to do a Ramesidische in Schriften? He and some students have been collating inscriptions in Egypt to do exactly as I had wished to do. Kennedy said, I better show you this letter. What do we do about this? The Germans, unbeknown to me, unbeknown to them about me, had set up what in fact was an identical project. And if Germany gets on the go, it's very difficult to do anything about it. They're very powerful, very industrious, very able, and I feel like swearing at this point, they get the funding. I got nothing in the way of funding from anybody mm. for this. Oh boy, I've really been so upturned in all my life. I told my parents what had happened. Thought, prayed, what should I do? Do I run up the white flag? After I spent hundreds and hundreds mm. and hundreds of pounds, all those documents, everything, should I throw this all away so that my friends in Germany can get on with it? All that would come out of it then would be the thesis if it ever got going again, which was certainly not on the cards at that point. The Lord has said, I will do this. I will make one bold stroke. We will go ahead and publish and be damned. And then send the copy to Professor Help with my compliments. And then we've bashed the ball back into his camp. So we sent the published version of this and a new copy of um, Ramesses IV and a newly published copy of the 64 pages of the first half of the Battle of Cardiff. And it'll pass off Professor Help with my compliments. Uh, I'm carrying on this project I thought you ought to know, and these are with my best wishes. And went off to Egypt wondering what would happen. And set this other, I was going to see, would, on the southeast horizon, was there going to be a sort of atomic explosion happening <laughs> from the direction of Hamburg? I don't know. I went off to Egypt. I was staying that year in Cairo with Gabala and, Jen and his wife, uh, Jennifer. And um, she did a PhD on the Amarna Talatat with. Um, Last it, the American, on the Jubilee. Jocelyn Gohari. Jocelyn Gohari inside Gohari. She came out to Egypt when I was still there. And uh, when this happened, when I'd sent this stuff off to Help, Fairman had a letter back from Help. Told Jocelyn what the contents of the letter were. It says, you go and see Kenneth when you're in Egypt and tell him in person. The content of that letter was that Help agreed to cancel his project. He'd only written a first fask and nothing else. Now what they'd spent on travel and collations and photographs I never stopped to ask. But the man was good enough to recognise that I'd been there first and was heroic enough to let me go forward. Deeply affecting is that. I felt immensely grateful. So, oh, thank goodness for that. She says, Ken, she came to the club. Ken, I've got a message for you. I've been told by Fairman to tell you directly. Hand me the letter. Oh, it's the most awful thing in the world that can ever happen to any scholar if I let two blooming people done the same job at the same moment. It does happen. Mm, Sometimes yeah. embarrassingly frequently. We get a thing this size, and a fan time project is particularly unhappy, unless they're completely complementary. Mm. Not the case. Mm. So we got over that crisis and thought, right, I am in the position, 
I, I've got responsibility that we have got to go through. And you've got to give help credit. We've got to give him credit. The man who reviewed this publication that came out fast by fast by fast in Biblioteca Orientalis was Professor H. W. Help. And he said, he, he went through what I was doing, described what it was. If he noticed something I hadn't got, he said, ah, perhaps we can add this inscription. As for the quality of the copies, he said, sie uh, kann als um, optimal gesehen, the best possible. To a man who'd been cut off, wasn't that generous? Mm -hmm. Yes, very. 